All right, just taking a quick look at this Browie portable power station. This is a, a very unique offering, as, uh, as you're going to see here in a second as we take a look at it. But um, it's basically got a solar panel built into it, right? So this is, um, this is not always like the greatest idea. This is not something that you want to just have for like general use. You know, like, um, you know, generally it would just be better to pretty much, pretty much buy any other power station and then have like a separate you know, 100 watt um, solar panel or something like that. But this power station um, could have its uses, right? Like, like you might want to have this power station right next to your bug out bag, right? Because this thing is kind of, um, it's, ready to, it's ready to rock and roll, right? Just, just as it is, like all contained in, in one unit. And it's something that you can kind of just grab and go, right? And, um, and it's also got um, not only the solar panel, but it's also got, as we see here uh, uh, on the side, it's, the ports and stuff like that are like designed to be, um, you know, not waterproof. I mean, basically as water resistant as possible. I mean, you still have like the, uh, the open vents there for the cooling and stuff like that. Right. But, um, basically as water resistant as possible. And then, um, you know, if you do need some power, right, you can, uh, you can just kind of set this thing up and open up that, that solar panel on it. Right. And, and and get some charge directly no cables required you don't got to hook anything up right you just um, throw it in the sun now of course this is um another reason this is not a, an ideal design is that um you know generally if it's going to be in the sun it's going to get quite warm and it's going to heat up and it's going to heat up you know the entire unit the power station and the batteries as well right so this would kind of be more ideal for like um, cooler temperatures right you wouldn't want to necessarily have this out in the sun on a hot day, <laughs> right? But but um, it does. This unit does have um, LFP batteries, so we'll, we'll get to that more here in a second. So, as far as high temperatures go, it's not um, you know it's not the end of the world. It's not the biggest concern like it would be with um, NMC batteries. So, basically, just looking at the design, you can see it's 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 a real rugged, like almost like um, military inspired uh, case design to it. And again, I think that's just kind of, um, you know, going with that more intended market to just kind of be like a real rugged, uh, durable thing that you can kind of use in an emergency, like a real emergency situation, right? Like something like um, something you're, you're kind of just trying to, um, you know, prep and, and be ready for, but you don't know what's coming, right? Like this would be the kind of the power station to have on hand. So, yeah, I think it's, um, I think they were definitely successful with, uh, with the design of this thing as far as their their intended market um let's just keep moving here so there we go the the built-in solar panel is only 30 watts right so um you know it's not a huge amount of power but the thing is this thing can still um charge from a normal solar panel right so it, you can still charge it from uh like a 100 watt solar panel like a separate solar panel if you wanted and then um they do claim that you can actually charge this thing um, simultaneously so the so the 30 watt you know the built-in panel and then you could also have like you know another panel up to 100 watts I think up, up to 110 watts is what they say um, coming in as well so that's 140 watts which isn't too bad right because um, this thing is not a huge battery so it is an LFP battery but um, it's about 600 watt hours right so it's not um it's kind of a good size it's kind of a good good mid-size unit and again this is something that you're just going to like grab and go with right so um you don't want too much weight so i think that's actually um that's probably a pretty good spec right um let's see what else we got here so here's all the basically all the ports that it has um we do get a couple of USB A. looks like one of them is uh, quick charge um, we get one USB-C up to 65 watts, so kind of a kind of a mid-range USB-C on that. That's actually not too bad. Um, here's the the input is also behind one of these covers. This is this is the kind of like water-resistant um, covers that they have. So we do get the input um, there as well, and it looks like it's just a 5521. It's not even eight millimeters. So again, that's kind of kind of why we see it limited to a, a hundred watts. And then um, we do get a little a couple extra um, 12 volt outlets and then we get the standard um, car plug and then it's a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter on it as well. Only only one outlet. But again, um, you know, on a case design like this, it's not too bad. 
So yes, yeah, 600 watts, um, basically typical specs we see from a mid-size unit, right? Now, kind of the best thing about this, uh, this whole listing is, is the video they actually have for this thing. And, um, you know, normally you would, you would expect to see a video like this, right? Like anytime you, um, you see videos for these power stations, it's going to be something like this, where it's basically just somebody showing, um, showing the features and just showing, you know, how you use it, right? Um, but actually, if you go to the second video that they have here, it's this one right here. Um, that's two minutes and 27 seconds long. This one is going to blow your mind, like literally. The production they put into this unit, um, <laughs> it's just worth watching. So let's just, um, let's just take a look at it because this thing actually had me cracking up. Is your new mission, son. <laughs> so there, so there it is. There's the. Uh, it's more of a production than a video, really. And uh, you know, you, hey, you got to give them credit. Give them credit for uh, for doing that. I think for a power station like this, right? This is not just your your typical power station. I think um, you know why not? That that might be good money spent. And um, you, you know, at least for me, I, I kind of find that appealing. And and it kind of does make this whole unit um, seem a little bit more appealing, right? Just to have like again, this is not just like a general use. Um, type of thing, but maybe something you just want to have like, you know, like ready to go sitting by the door, right? So, um, and hopefully if nothing else, you, you just found this video interesting or, uh, or helpful. So yeah, thanks for watching.